Hello, this is Alan from Tushef. In this video, I'm going to show you how you import a variation table inside the Unreal. For this example, I'm using the variation table inside our Atops Agents bundle. Uh, so, for example, you can use the, uh, the Arnold variation here, just in drag and drop inside the content of your, uh, of your scene here. When you drag and drop, Atoms will open this, uh, this UI where you can uh, uh, specify which agent type variation to import. In this case, in this table, there are the boy, cat, gear, labrador, man, and woman uh, variation. Uh, for this example, just remove some of them, but just import, for example, the, uh, uh, the cat. Remove. Uh, let's open. Uh, as you can see, you can specify the agent type from your scene. Uh, if you have in this case, I have already the agent type in the scene, so it automatically um, find it here. But I mean, you can choose the agent type you want to use for this uh, for this variation. And here you have the all the variation list that this uh, this diagram is going to import. If you want, you can remove some variation, just delete them. And then let's have a look to the parameter. So the lot count, you can specify a number of, of lots that this tool automatically generate on the skeletal mesh that you import. In this case, it's generating a full lot. Uh, then you can merge mesh and merge section. Uh, let's try to import this like this first. Just one second, that's supporting. Okay. So let's see our variation. So as, as you can see, one variation is composed by multiple uh, skeletal mesh. If I go here, this one, uh, it's my skeletal mesh. And the variation is, com is a, a composition of different skeletal mesh. Obviously, if you want to optimize your asset, you can merge this, uh, this skeletal mesh. You can also merge the sections. Uh, in this case, for example, the cat, I think, has just one section here but uh, for example the man the girl has multiple sections so the tool can merge this section and merge the the texture the texture as well so let's have a look uh, an example how uh, that is merging the uh, the section and the mesh so let's import again uh, let's import uh, for example, let's remove the woman. Let's import the Labrador. Three. <clears throat> so let's merge the meshes out of the section. Um, here there are some parameter, other parameter, especially when you merge a section. You basically, when you merge a section, uh, this tool create a texture atlas with inside all the texture for each section. For that uh, texture atlas, you can um, uh, you can set specific uh, location inside the atlas of uh, of the text for a specific geometry. In this case, this here the body geo is put in zero zero. I think because there is just one just one geometry. Uh, Let's let's try with the man. There are multiple section. Okay, so let's delete delete this one, delete this one, this one, delete this one, and uh, let's import only only one variation. Okay, as you can see here, there are. <coughs> It automatically fills the UV tiles in indices. Uh, this, uh, here you can specify the index of the tile inside the atlas for every specific uh, texture for each geometry. This is what automatically fill, fill it for you. Uh, but if you modify this, this table here, just remember to turn on the uh, use uh, UV tile uh, indices. Also you can tell this tool to repeat the, the tiles instead to use um, black tiles if that uh, to, to fill the empty space inside the tiles. Anyway, let's try to merge. Let's see uh, what happens. 
so let's import okay let's have a look to the man so I have one variation as I can see it's just one geometry and I go here to the geometry as you can see now is single geometry with a single section so let's have a look at the material uh, material using the text tool that are here as you can see <coughs> now using a toilet tile text tool and the UV indices uh, you can tell basically where to uh, set a specific text tool here for example you can change the title of this one that I'll put here uh, and so on and the repeat UV <coughs> sorry the repeat type just basically fill this uh, empty space with uh, with the type that already exists in this way basically you can um, uh, you can save some time on the GPU when the GPU try to draw uh, this mesh uh, also when you try to sample the, the texture in this way you can use more, more texture compared to the, to the limited number of uh, texture sample that you can use in a, inside a material uh, you can also create this atlas uh, uh, after it import the, the texture uh, so for example you can create an atlas I don't know, with this one, this one and this one just go to the atom scroll and there is the text atlas generator and you can tell the number of uh, number of a row for inside this atlas for example here are three you can choose for example two row because I have three texture you can use to turn on the repeat tiles and for the repeat tiles I try to three three so I generate atlas texture texture atlas let me see generate the, the atlas with also repeating texture So that's it, thank you for watching, see you in the next video.